got the truck back. Are you ready to go? Let's get moving. So I gotta eat some breakfast real quick. Hold on. sheets and stuff on the bed when we came back out. You're hanging out next between all the pillows and they're nice clean sheets. You are? My... You are? My goodness. Yeah? It's kind of a it's kind of a mess when I was in here getting everything put back together, wasn't it? Sheets on the bed, laundry away, stuff in the cabinet. Cleaned up her stuff. We have a few things that I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with. Milo got a brand new pet car seat today, didn't you? Yeah, let's see up here. I pulled the blanket back. This is her pet car seat. It's got seat belt, so it seat belts it in. It's in here really good and solid. This is a whole lot better than her, just her beds I had up here. And I did have those bungeed down so they wouldn't fall off. But this is way better. It's a lot sturdier. She seemed like she was, well, I think she liked her soft beds better. They were more comfortable, but she seemed, I don't know, more, a little more relaxed moving around in it. She could stand up and move around and scratch and whatever she wanted to do. Do have the blanket that I'm putting over the top of it because um, we do tend to have she gets sick every once in a while or has accidents. It does have, of course, it's way too long. I'll have to see how short I can make it. It does have, this is a big, this is, I got the large one, so you had lots of room. So it has two, two of these. It's made by Pet Gear. Um, it does have these leashes. So if I needed to tie her, you know, put her harness on and secure her, I could. However, I mean, I know that's the safest thing to do with her. But, I mean, you guys have to understand, we're driving 10 to 11 hours a day. I can't keep her tied down to her seat that long, even with taking breaks. You know, you kind of can do that with a dog, but that doesn't, that doesn't do well with cats. However, I will probably use those when we're in bad weather. Um, we had a pet seat once before, a long time ago. And I got to, that's where I, when I used it, is anytime we were in a sketchy situation where I was a little nervous and I tied her down. I know that doesn't mean that you can't have accidents on any other time, but, um, tying her, tying her in her seat, seat belting her in for 10 hours is, it's just, just really not a realistic thing to be doing. And I know very few truck drivers, honestly, who do secure their pets. I mean, this is like their house. So, I mean, I couldn't keep her from her litter box. I, I drive for seven hours sometimes before I can find a place to stop or have time to stop. So, she, I can't make her try to hold it that long. And she likes to eat very frequently. So, 
Anyway, I mean, seat belting her in continuously is not terribly realistic. But we have the ability to do it. She does have a harness, and she is harness trained. This is her harness. It's kind of hard to see what it looks like at the moment because it's all messed up. It's all twisted up. But this is this is her harness. Um, so that that gives us that option. If and, and this isn't really storage, but I'm using it as storage. Handy little place there to put things. So, what do you think, huh? She says, you better not tie me in. I don't like that. Which she's done it before, and she does just fine. So, her old beds, which is, this is what was in the front seat before. They're back here. They are bungeed down, so they won't slide around. But this is how I got her up high enough, is we had a bigger dog bed with her donut bed sitting on top of it. And that's how I got her tall enough that she could see out the windows. So it was it was nice and soft and squishy, wasn't it, Milo? But maybe not the safest thing for her to be riding on because it shifted around on her. So, so far, we, she seems to be doing just fine. She does like it better with a blanket on it. I think it smelled funny. I don't know if she'll use that or not. She might sleep in that at night. I think next time we're home, the larger bed on the bottom will stay home and we'll just keep the donut bed. But for now, I've got them there. And like I said, I've got them bungeed in. I use the same bungee that I use to hold it in the seat to keep it from, from moving around. We were home, ended up being home for just about a whole week and really didn't get much accomplished. We'll be having to come back and work on that again. They didn't get it finished. Um, the AC lines that they were working on, we're going to have to do it again. The, their first idea didn't work, so we're going back, back out to work while they figure out the best way to secure those AC lines. So hopefully they'll have that done before it gets really hot. I'm sure we'll have another week at home here in a little, little while. Well, it's a long day for our first day back out. I'm ready to have a sandwich. I've got a couple more things I gotta do, and then we're gonna get ready for bed. You guys all have a good day, and we'll talk to you on Friday.